one fella I know can ride like that, but he's in Placid County. No, he ain't, Uncle Jesse. Jim Stewart Duke, there you are. <laughs> now, who be this little hussy, Uncle Jesse? Jim Stewart Duke, don't you recognize your own cousin, Daisy? <laughs> wow, well, Daisy, you growed some. And in a whole lot of directions. <laughs> now, you two stay here and visit. I'm going in the kitchen. When I call you, we're going to have ourselves an old-fashioned Duke visitation. Oh, I'm out there making it another great day. And today, I'm at Circus City Architectural Salvage. Yay! And I can't get rid of this guy. Uh, this is my friend Chris Hensel, who played Jeb Stewart Duke on the Dukes of Hazard, And... What's his face with this? Boss Hogg once was kidnapped, and I thought of this because this guy's been hanging around. And here he is in another video. Um, Boss was being chased by the uh, by the ba uh, by the Dukes trying to rescue him from where he was being kidnapped, and they said, "Well, you got to lose him." And Boss said, "Oh, you'll never lose the Dukes. I've been trying to for years." That's right. And I kind of feel that way. <laughs> Jeez. Welcome to my world. But we did. I did find this spot here, and. Uh, Kind of works out with Chris's movie, the name Salvage. We Salvage. do like that. Yes, we do. And we're going to go in here and check out Circus City Architectural Salvage. And I didn't need hooked on phonics for that one. <laughs> Let's go in and look my, around. My friend's sister oh. got hooked on phonics. Yes. Yeah, oh, did bad. it work for her? No, it was bad for a while. Uh, yeah. Let's go inside and check it out. Me and Chris Hensel, Jeb Stewart Duke from Dukes of Hazard, we are looking around at this circus salvage place. Look at this big gigantic suit of armor here, here at Circus City Architect Architectural Salvage. I can't talk, I need hooked on phonics. We have found a Vespa motorcycle here, a Vespa cycle, and it's a coffee table, and that's pretty unique. I don't know if the Dukes had outrun uh, Roscoe and Enos in that. They also have the big gigantic giraffes in here. This is a very, very large shop and there's so much to look at. I can't show it all. This is what's so sad. I see some interesting things here on the wall and it says the man who knows and uh, I wonder what he knows. I know that this is a cool place. They have an old time stove here and uh, it looks like somebody's ready to cook some beans maybe. I don't know where Chris wandered off to. He's lost here in the salvage company. I don't know where Chris went, but I have discovered some jars, the old ball jars. It's probably, Uncle Jesse probably used those for his shine. Here's a pretty neat little thing. I, I'm assuming this probably came from Ringling Brothers. This is the greatest show on earth on it. And I do believe that was probably on one of the elephants, but they have it here for sale in this shop. We are not even at the Ringling Brothers uh, Museum, but they do have Ringling Brothers items here, uh, costumes and things that was worn at the Ringling Brothers Circus for sale. Me and Chris have found our favorite word in this shop, and it is the word salvage, because he is doing a movie called Salvage Yard Shine Boys, and uh, that's pretty cool right there, the word salvage, uh, all bunched up. These are pretty cool looking mermaids here, Chris. I like those. And they're right next to a bunch of old bottles. I don't think it's, I don't think these are shine though. This place has so many posters for Ringling Brothers Circus here that you can buy on display here. It's just absolutely incredible place to come and discover. And there's a big gigantic octopus here hanging as well. And if you're looking for a tractor motif uh, chairs for your living room, they have a tractor motif uh, chair set here. I have found something interesting here. It's an old sign for Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs and the Foggy Mountain Boys way back in the day, sponsored by Martha White Flower. And you have that poster here in this shop to buy as well. They've even got a cool open 24 hours neon sign back here. And they got a little Patsy Klein record here. And they do have some vinyl, and I have showed you vinyl before in shops. So they have a small selection of that here too. They have a lot of very cool and interesting signage back here that you can purchase and trains even they have a metal train here as well see this. What, what did you say you found back here Chris? A, uh, an antique town car uh, 
clown car. <laughs> Quit being a clown and, and tell it straight. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's just a little uh, toy, but it's an antique, and it's just really cool, really cool stuff. I mean, Greg has some really beautiful things here. Hopefully, we can use some in the movie. They even have a gigantic Benjamin Moore Paints sign. How many remember Benjamin Moore Paints? And if you need some kind of letter, any different type, shape, or form, you can find it right here. They have all kinds of really cool lettering. Somebody has spelled out the word surf right here on top of this trunk. Somebody must like to go surfing. It is by the down here by the beach. Here's a big gigantic, I guess that's a D, or you could turn around and make it a P, I believe. I have just never seen so much stuff in one big building. Uh, like a warehouse almost of all kinds of metal objects and metal signs and there's a big gigantic coke sign back here as well here's a bunch more animals and stuff there's a big bull and a big elephant they even have a multicolored dinosaur a multicolored dinosaur here in this shop that you can get you'd like to have that in your garden and here is a, another angle of this very large shop and that's a very large coat of armor there as well and this goes pretty deep and there's so much stuff in here to look at I'm just blown away here are some very cool butterflies made out of metal here's a green one and a red one and uh, those are pretty cool that would be pretty nice to put in your flower garden looks like they even have a toucan Sam here you can call him toucan I guess but uh, they have one of those here as well and they have flying flamingos here up underneath a big gigantic chair that you could have hanging on your porch and right up here on the top it says wet I guess it's an old wet hen but it looks more like a rooster to me there's another one of those open 24 hour signs if you're a business and need a need a sign it's this is the place to come and get that. There are so many circus signs, original circus signs for Ringling Brothers and Barber and Bailey here that you can purchase. I do like that one, and I do like this big gigantic elephant here on the side of the wall. And here is some right here, the Great American Circus. Those are pretty darn cool as well. And if you look up, there's a lot of cool stuff hanging, as you can tell from, there's a lot of lamps. A lot of very cool looking lamps. I like that lamp right there. That's pretty darn cool. And if you go on down, they even have one like a like a studio type lighting. And uh, they're just some cool looking lamps uh, here in this shop. Look at this here, Chris. This looks like something you might have seen on the Waltons. This here old radio. Uh, I've seen a lot of old radios in these different places. That is cool. Well, Chris, I have found I found a relic, and it's probably not from Jeb Stewart Duke's motorcycle because this says Kawasaki, and it's the wrong color. Yours was yellow. Yep. And uh, but that is pretty cool. I bet you that cycle might be in that condition by these days. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> yeah, after I dumped it a couple of times, sure. I mean, uh, stunt did some stunt work with it. Yeah, that's that's what I did with it. Yeah. <laughs> They even where, have where, where vintage Ringling Mexican Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus programs uh, from their different seasons that you can purchase here right in this shop. I did not know that. That is so neat. And here it says junk fun. And uh, it is a lot of fun to look around in this shop for sure. And uh, junk can be fun. Oh, Chris, this was... I could look in here all day. Can you? This was awesome. Yeah. Uh, very awesome little uh, shop here. We're going to go outside. Well, Chris, that was an amazing place. I have to admit, I I was I was overwhelmed with this shop. I, there's no way we could show it all. No, I can't wait to, to show Greg's other place in uh, the other state uh, near near Tennessee. I think it's West Virginia or Virginia. We've got another place up. When we start shooting Salvage Yard Shine Boys, I want to check out this place for some more material. Absolutely, and maybe get some good props. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we do want to thank Greg, the owner of uh, Circus City Architectural salvage here in Sarasota for letting us come and look around and uh your speech is improving my well I have still haven't used hooked on phonics but you know uh hey uh but I I, I still can't shake the dukes and it's still here yeah it is a little windy but you know and I'm a little windy yes he knows I'm windy he 
he knows I'm winning. Every time we're on the phone, oh, yeah. he's like, gotta go. Scott, I gotta go. I, is this already the next day? Oh, you're blown away. <laughs> uh, definitely check out the links for Chris and his movie, uh, Salvage Our Shine Boys. Check out the links for Circus City Architectural Salvage. And go out there and make it a great day. And it's been great. great it's been seeing great, again, buddy. great seeing you again. And uh, we'll have to get together more often. Of course, right. I'm, I'm excited for coming uh, when we do the movie. Yep. I'm, I'm going I'm to get some behind the scenes shots and Absolutely. stuff of this Absolutely. film. And we're yep. going to have it exclusively here on the Tourist Trap. We're also going to have it on Chris's Facebook page, Sonny's Facebook page, and every other dude's page. That's right. It, it's going to spread like wildfire. Um, keep going out there making it a great day because you deserve it. That's right. The boy Luke said goodbye to Cousin Jeb, who promised that he'd come visit him more often. How many more strange dukes do you reckon there is?